Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Changing Your Direction. I'm so excited that you have decided to tune into the broadcast today. You're going you're gonna to be delighted, not only delighted, you're going to be moved by the power of God. I want you to stay tuned because what's next is for you a mighty deliverance from the Word of God. Stay tuned.
It's a divine appointment that you are watching this program right now. Healing, power, deliverance, and prophetic impartation are yours right now. Are you ready to receive it right now? It's time to move your life to the next level right now. I'm going to receive the Holy Ghost. I'm going to receive my healing. I want you to understand that we serve an awesome God. Do I have a witness in this house? But let me tell you, if you build up your praise and whenever you get in trouble, you already, you can make a withdrawal from the presence and the power of God. Right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church, our mission is simple, to bring you into the transforming presence of God. Each and every week, lives are being changed, families are being restored, and destiny is being fulfilled. And we want to invite you to be a part of all that God is doing through His church. Join us for a visit to one of our worship services so you can experience an environment full of God's power. When you do, we want to sow a special gift into your life. On this program, you only saw a small portion of the message preached by Pastor Hickson. When you visit with us, we will give you this entire message on your choice of CD or DVD absolutely free as our way of saying thank you for visiting. When you arrive, simply let the person that greets you know that you are a first-time visitor and give them the name of the message you see on your screen. So make your plans to visit with us right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church. Our location, website, and service times are on the screen. You, your family, your future are important to God. Whenever you're in the glory of God, you make the choice whether you live or you die. I'm believing God for the glory cloud walking this, moving this place today like you have never seen. I've been praying and said, Lord, my prayer, let them see your cloud. Let them see the cloud of Shekinah glory. Let them walk in your cloud to know that you can move sickness, disease, and affirmative. Not only sickness, disease, and affirmative, but give them a heart to receive you and the glory of you. He said, I have so much to give my people, but they have to get in a, a line with my word. Oh, shake me. Shake my heart. Shake my mind. Shake my walk. Guide me, Holy Spirit. In his awesome presence. My people are dying because they... I'm providing for them, but they're not connected to me. You remember, some of you remember when you couldn't pay the bill, but he stepped in. Do some of you remember when you went to court, when your attorney told you there was no hope? That you go ahead and accept the plea because that's the only way out, but God. That's the glory of God. The glory of God will come in and turn a situation around. The glory of God will come in when doctors said we have exalted everything that we can do. But it'll come in. He'll come in. God move in this place. Move in this place like you have never moved before. Let your glory move like it never done before. Let us witness who you are. Let us not only witness, but let us feel your presence. Gosh. Ah. Hey. Hey. Woo. God. A shepherd, he told me yes and I. God. We come, we surrender. How many want to surrender everything to him today? I mean, surrender everything you have. Give up what you have that's holding you down. Woo. Let me tell you something. Whenever he gets me to move to the word, I'm going to let you know. He said, if you surrender everything now, surrender your life, surrender your life, surrender it now, Move out of your circumstances. Move out of your sin. 
Move out of your sin. I am a God. If I said it, I will perform it. How many of you want to surrender to him today? I have to be led by the Spirit. How many want to be surrendered to him? Your lifestyle is not pleasing God. How many desire, if you desire to surrender everything that God, I cannot coach you into it. Your heart has to be. If you surrender I hope you have enjoyed the message this far. I want you to stay tuned because your breakthrough is waiting for you. You will enjoy the rest of this message. You know, I know God is in his service. Ever since we started this wall, the very first Sunday, the power went out. Three Sundays after that, paramedics been at the door. I want to let you know God is moving in this service. I want today, I'm going to talk on some major topics, three major topics today. The glory of God is one. I don't know about you, I, I, I don't want to live ordinary just getting by. I, I want to live in his glory. Because his glory is beyond that you can even speak about. And the thing that he's waiting to do in your life, in my life, all we have to do is just say, Lord, I, here am I. Here am I, Lord. Oh, God. One thing I want you to understand something here. I want to talk about the outer man today. And I want to talk about repentance. The glory of God in the outer man and repentance. And why it's so important for us to repent. I read some scriptures and been going through it. And let me tell you, I'm not here to scare you. I'm here to invite you to the very power of the glory of God to his power. I want you to realize that you and I don't have the commodity on God. All we need to do is trust him. Somebody say trust him. Trust him. And today you're going to learn that you could be in the glory and never connect it. You could live in the glory and never be connected. But the end result of you living in the glory and never connected, you would die. In the wilderness, in your wilderness, you will die. You will live out your life. You live in an old age or young age. But you are operating in the glory of God. And when you're operating in his glory and you are not connected, you will die in your sins. 
Amen. Amen. Not here to scare you today. I just want to let you know God is serious about what he's saying to us. What he's in the walls that God have given me in this series. I want you to deal with these issues so you will be able to say if I'm going to be. I love one scripture. He says when he returned, the, the righteous will be righteous. The holy will be holy and the filthy will be filthy. God said, I already know that when I return, Jesus said, the righteous will be righteous. And the filthy will be filthy, and the holy will be holy. Well, let us get started, brother. All right, go. Then the cloud covered the tabernacle of meeting, mm -hmm. and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Yes. And Moses was not able to enter the tabernacle of meeting mm -hmm. because the cloud rested above it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. This cloud, this cloud, this cloud that, that covered the Israelite, the same cloud is, is here today. It's not just in the Old Testament. It's the glory of God. And whenever the glory of God is in a place, whenever the glory of God says, behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, my worship will help bring the cloud of God in here. My worship will begin to move among the people. Your worship will bring his cloud into your presence. Let us continue. Whenever the cloud was taken up from above the tabernacle, mm -hmm. the children of Israel should go onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud was not taken up, then they did not journey till the day that it was taken up. Somebody For say reverence. reverence. Give honor. Give honor. You, see, you have to know when God tells you to move. They did not move without God. Amen. They did not go without the presence of God. How many of us go and get up in the morning and just go and do our thing and do what we got to do without praying and without standing before God? We take on the highways, we take on the airways, we take on the trainway, and we take them on without being in the presence of God. And when you're working as a servant and trusting God and believing God, you got to realize you need him every single day. You need him every moment and every hour. They did not move without the God and the presence of God. And let me tell you, have you ever had the Holy Ghost to rest upon you? Do you know the weight of the glory of God is what brought down the walls of Jericho? Don't you realize the weight and the glory of God will bring, if you ever get into a praise and worship, where that the weight and the glory of God come upon you and set upon you, no disease, no infirmity, no, no, no disaster, nothing can come near thee, because he says it in his word. The weight and of the glory of God. They did not move without God, because they know the glory did not tell them to move right now. They, do you have a prayer life where God tell you when to move and when not to move? Do you have a walk with him when you know that you will stay at bay and you will keep the course, stay the course no matter what it look like, no matter what storm, stay the course, no matter what violence, stay the course, no matter what you're going through, stay the course. Because why? The Israelites know that God was with them. And whenever the, the glory rests upon the tabernacle, the house, guess what? They did not move because why? They, they, if they would have moved, they walked out from under the protection. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. The protection in the glory of God. That's why they didn't move. Because they're staying under the will of God. Don't you know God said, I want to move some things in your life and I want to put you in some places. But you got to know my voice. You got to know when I say move. That was a song say, move when I move. Huh? It's a secular song, but let me tell you, the word of God. They did not move until when God told them to move. Let us continue. Oh, God, this is getting good. 
For the glory, for the cloud of the Lord was above the tabernacle by day, mm -hmm. and the fire was over it by night, and in the sight of all the house of Israel throughout all their journeys. Forty years. We cry about nobody care. Forty years. Walk with them in the desert. Provided everything that they it said that their shoes never wore out, their sandals never wore out. Their clothing never. Come on. Y'all know what we buy now. And after a while, either we outgrow them or go out of season and we go and give them away, or either these cinnamon claws are long enough, what is that smell? That fabric begin to rot. But I want you to understand something that, that God provided for them. Don't y'all know we serve the same God? Yes. Don't y'all have any idea that we serve the same God? So when if I'm gonna if I'm gonna trust God, that means I got to give him everything I have. Amen. Let us continue. And the Lord went before them mm -hmm. by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. God was with them during the day and during the night. He was going to be with you during the day. Somebody say day. And don't get restless in here on me. There's going to be a teaching. I can feel that spirit. You're talking now. I want you to stay focused. I'm trying to get you out of the desert that you're already in. I'm trying to get you where you, can, where you and I can begin to move into the glory and the things of God. We'll never be able to move into the glory of things of God right here. Listen, to have truth. You got to realize that I don't care what we have to do is stop running off man gifts and start running off the anointing and the power of God. We get turned off on so we get turned on somebody's gift. Let me tell you, everybody have the gift that's given without repentance, but you must begin to walk in the power and the authority of God so you can be able to what? Fight the wiles of the devil. You're never going to be able to defeat the wiles of the devil if you have the same mindset. If you keep doing the same thing over again, you ought to begin to say, Lord, I'm going to make a sacrifice and I'm going to have my own prayer time that I, I don't have to tell anybody else what my prayer time is. But my prayer time will be this time every morning in your presence, me making the sacrifice so I can hear from you. Not only hear from you, I need you to guide me. I need strength to get out of the mess that I'm in. I need to be encouraged when I can't get no encouragement from nobody else. I need to be lifted up when I'm feeling so down. Nobody can lift me up like you lift me up. No drugs can lift me up like you can lift me up. Ain't nobody else can do it. No, no immorality can lift me up. But when you come in on the inside and you begin to lift me up, I'm going to speak this thing today. Not this thing, I'm going to speak the word today. Somebody going to come alive today. Somebody going to get a breakthrough in here today. Somebody going to walk in the glory of God today. Because I know somebody had an experience this morning with God just before the break of day. You didn't have a dream. That was the glory of God in your room. God. Continue with he took not away the pillar of cloud by day. Yes, sir. Of the pillar of fire by night from before the people. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went before them. The pillar of the cloud went before their face and stood behind them. Notice, the angel went before them. Do you know you all have ministering angels? Yes. I'm talking to you, church, not to the front row. Do you know you have ministering angels? Yes. You can be able to tell those ministering angels to go out before you. And therefore, when, they, when you tell your ministering angels to go out before you, they begin to do battle and war for you by, before you even arrive. 
I want you to realize that you all have ministering angels. That's why you want to be able to live a life to please God because you have ministering angels to fight the battles that you've been wrestling with, to fight the ignorant battles. And when I mean ignorant battles, things that you got in ignorance is simply mean knowledge. You're trying to fight something that you have no knowledge of and you have no information about. But if you turn around and trust God and then you begin to uh, call on your ministering angels that are assigned to a child of God. Let me tell you something. The angel was assigned to them even though God was there in that cloud. But that angel went before them defeating the enemy prior to Why do you think people love to keep confusion going? So you can start fighting battles to please them. So you can keep, so they can keep your mind locked on them. They can keep your mind locked on their attitude. That you can keep your mind locked on what did he say and she say. Instead of you getting enough power to turn around and say, that does not belong to me. Because I've already turned my minister, I already turned it over to my ministering angel. The spirit of confusion got to go. And I don't care to be tied up with this foolishness today. Because I got my time, I got to give him worship. I got to turn my phone off and worship him. If somebody called me, guess what? If it's important, they'll go ahead and leave a message. And I'll go ahead and answer them back and I don't have to give an explanation if it took me an hour to call you because I'm in my prayer time and whenever you in your prayer time you got to be able to be in your prayer closet to hear from God when I got up this morning and my TV was not working and I wanted to see changing your direction but I said Lord you're going you're taking me another direction I turned the TV off and I said Lord you're calling me for another praise and worship and then as, as I got before God and began to give him reverence and praise I I say, Lord, I know you know what's best for me this morning. Because God, I didn't know what it was going to be like when I get on the turnpike. I don't know what it's going to be like when I leave out of here. But God said, I, your, your time is required with me right now. To request a copy of today's broadcast, call us at 1-855-NOW-FAITH. That's 1-855-669-3248. Or visit our website at changingyourdirection.org. Write to us at 101 South Redland Road, Florida City, Florida, 33034. Full Deliverance Ministries, where little becomes much when you place it in the Master's hand, is changing your direction the victorious way. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson. We're out of time, but I want you to join us on social media and other media outlets. We're there for you. We're praying for you. I want to just encourage you to encourage someone else. Make this message a part of your library. God bless you. Thank you for your support and your prayers as we continue to reach a nation for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you next week at this time, changing your direction.